What up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mike Rasheed. I'm here in the Valley of the Beast, the legendary Iron Addicts. Today is my favorite day of the week, chest day. Today, I also have my homie Uganzo or Ulysses. This is the man that made $1.52 million in like two hours with his NFT art. We've been training for about a month or so now, and I'm determined to get my man in the best shape of his life, all right? I've always wanted to be in shape because many artists don't really get out much. They always stay at home. You're crouched over all the time when you're painting. I wanna be healthy. I wanna be in shape. I want to be big. Also, I got my homie Matty Ice Fitness. Because watching Mike train, watching his videos, just over the years, watching him grow, is just the motherfucker's an insane animal. So, you know, if you want to be a lion too, you got to hang around with fucking lions. Matty, he's a celebrity trainer. I mean, he trains one of the best in the game, and that's the gang. The best in the game, the gang. Whoa. God damn. No pun intended, but every point intended. I do have a passion for training people and working with people and helping people unlock and elevate or ascend to their highest self. And it's not like I'm making these guys strong, but I'm showing them how strong they really are because sometimes you just don't know your potential. I just like to do my little part, right? So here's a classic uh, bench press forget progression. Let's get into it. So first set is a warm up, nothing crazy. Um, I always recommend do about 10, 12, maybe 15. I just don't want you doing anything that's taxing yourself on the buildup. Second set, 225. Once again, it's light, but it's heavier than the 135 but I do not want to tax my nervous system yet. I want to warm up my nervous system. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, now I'm going to 275. Now I'm starting to feel it a little bit. So I'm going to be very mindful of the weight and make sure I don't do enough to really tax myself. I'm still warming up my nervous system. Now, let me explain the difference for y'all. You have your nervous system and your skeletal muscular system, okay? The nervous system controls your real power, your hormonal output, your strength, and is working on our fight or flight response, okay? When you're lifting heavy weight, your body's not like, oh, we're working out today. No, your body's like, oh shit, we're under threat. Your body's trying to figure out what to do to prevent that threat from happening the next time because the human body is all about adaptation. Those who can adapt, live and thrive. Those who cannot adapt, get eaten by saber tooth tigers. The ideal is for you to get to as heavy weight as possible to optimize your strength, right? Because the heavier you get, it goes into your, your muscular, skeletal muscular system. Now, that's where you get size. It doesn't necessarily correlate with strength. However, you can be efficient with that if you're lifting heavy for a lot of reps. Now, the classic uh, uh, notion is low weight, high reps. Fuck that shit. That's boring and it's not impressive, okay? So my notion is heavy weight as possible, as many reps as possible. I'm at 315, shit's getting real right now. Shit's getting real. I handled a few uh, reps of that and we're gonna move up. We jump up from 315 to 405, let's get it. All right, at 405, you see it was easy work. I know that some people get concerned with my very first rep on heavy weights. It's always slow. I just had this mental block. I come down real slow so I can feel it because there was a time a few years ago I was training with my homie TP Hulk and I just haven't lifted heavy in a while and I went right under like almost five plates. Uh, I think it was 485 or something like that and tore a pec because I wasn't warmed up properly. All right, so here will be my fatality set. It'll be 315, all right? Now, if I went up heavier, um, I think I do like 10 to 12 reps here. If I went up heavier, I would have been doing like 20 reps of that, but it's all relative to how heavy you go that particular day. Three fifteen was always a challenge for me. I wanted him to try three fifteen. I know he has the power for it. He didn't quite get it, but he did because I can feel it. Mike gave me the some type of power to like even push that because he did a little teeny little nudge. I was gonna give up, but I said, hell no, I'm, I'm not gonna give up. And what he showed me in the beginning on the reps before it just made me uh, just my mind just a little bit more more uh, positive to get it up. 
I gave him a little nudge at the bottom. The bottom is everybody's weakest point. It's a sticking point. Now, he's never experienced 315 right there, so of course, quite naturally, he's not able to get it on his own. I know he has the power, but he just needs to keep doing it, getting his nervous system strong enough for that. And then in two weeks, three weeks, he'll be hitting 315 real clean. Matt went up to 315. He hit it pretty smooth. Training with Mike's a whole nother fucking level. So he pushes you to a whole nother fucking level. I mean, physically, mentally, mainly mentally. Next time, we're not doing no fucking 315. He's gonna straight the three out of 345 or 365. We'll see, we'll fill it out. He's been sandbagging. He ain't been going heavy. I, I know I'm in shape, but working out with someone like Mike is a fucking blessing. And it's gonna push me to the next level to achieve goals that I wanna achieve that I can't push myself. Okay, so next we're moving into one of my favorite movements and that's called the warrior push-ups. I feel like that's the ultimate exercise for chest and you don't even need equipment for that. I put out a challenge before, no one's ever completed it. One person got closer, somebody I know actually, he's a beast, but he left out one whole chunk of it, right? But no one's done the whole thing. If you're out there and you think you could do warrior push-ups, I got a band for you, a thousand dollars, all right? So just hashtag me, use hashtag Michael Sheet and hashtag warrior push-ups and tag me on whatever platform, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you name it. I'm looking, I'm searching. Now, this is their first time even hearing about or seeing Warrior Push Up, and I was gassed out after I did mine, so I didn't feel like explaining, and I don't want them to wait until I caught my breath. So I had them do 100 Push Ups straight. This is a great finisher, a great fatality set to end your workouts, or it's a great workout to do in the beginning of your workout to pre exhaust. If you can or can't do 100 straight, it doesn't matter. Do as many as you can out the gate. Don't stop just because you're tired. Stop when you literally can't push yourself up anymore, okay? Matt, he actually did the whole thing and uh, Ulysses almost did it. He took one small break, five seconds, I was counting, and that's it, and then he finished it. Today's workout was a little different because uh, I usually do work out with uh, kettlebell workouts. So basically, I do challenge myself when I do bench pressing. Uh, I only go up to 275 and I will only do it one time. But this time was a little different, a little challenging, and, and it made me see the real strength with uh, Mike Rashid. Shout out to my bros. My brother Matt, my brother Ulysses, AKA Ugonzo, Ugonzo Art. Check these guys out on the gram. These guys are both talented. Just find me at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you guys can find. It's Matty Ice Fitness with three S's. Big shout out to Michael Sheet for pushing me through a fucking insane chest workout. I go by Ugonzo Art on Instagram, Twitter. And also, I just want to give a big shout out to Mike Rashid uh, for this experience and I'm gonna keep pushing for this. They're both good dudes and y'all gonna see them around a lot more, all right? Holla y'all soon.